Yay! Hello, lovely humans! Jen Foxbot here. Welcome to another edition of Machine Learning Math Mondays. All right. In the last video, we looked at what happens when our machine learning algorithm either overfits, aka it tries to do some funky squiggly line to fit every data point to the pattern, not exactly what we want, or underfitting, where it takes a curved pattern and is like straight line. Not quite either. So we want to find a happy middle ground where we can find a reasonable pattern for our data. So an approach to doing that is called regularization. I have a hard time saying that word, so I'll probably fub it at some point in this video, but that's okay. So what we're going to do in this video is look at the uh, equation for the cost function that has a regularization term in it. So our cost function is going to get a little bit more complex, but never fear, we can read it and understand what it's doing. All right, so to recap from last time, let's say we have a data set where we are measuring the height of people based on their age. Um, we'll say A for age. Actually, let's do X because X is fun common variable. Okay, so we make some measurements and we get um, some data that looks like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. So our intuition tells us that our data probably looks something like this. And uh, we might propose a hypothesis function, h theta of x, that looks like theta naught plus theta one x, oops, I'm gonna run out of space, plus theta two x squared. Um, so kind of a sideways parabola. Gotta label out axes, it's very important. But if we have an overfitting machine learning algorithm, it might try to like squiggle between all of the data points. It's a very technical term, squiggle. So do something funky like this. And we're like, no, that's very silly. We don't want that. The equation for this line might be something like theta naught plus theta one x, whoopsies, x, just x, I'm getting ahead of myself here, plus theta two x squared plus theta three x to the third plus theta four x to the fourth. Um, so too complicated. We don't want this, we want this. But, hey, we can look at our equation and think about sneaky ways to make it similar to what our intuition tells us. For example, if we were to set uh, both of these parameters to be about zero, it would effectively cancel these two terms. And hey, what's up? We have an equation that looks more like our hypothesis or our, our intuition hypothesis. And this is what we want, and this is what we can use regularization to help us with. So the goal is to get to a simpler hypothesis by basically um, reducing the size or shrinking the size of these parameters. And this will help us, uh, this will help us deal with overfitting for a machine learning model. So to do this, we need to add a term to our cost function. All right, so I'm gonna need all of my board space back. So our cost function is gonna look like this. We have j of theta, and it's our fancy average multiplied by the total number of data points. And the first part is the same that we've seen before. So we're gonna sum over all of our data points, and we are going to, um, take the difference between our predicted value that's given by our hypothesis function and subtract the actual value to figure out how accurate our hypothesis is. And now we're gonna add a term to kind of keep these parameters from getting too large. So we're gonna add like a penalty if the parameters get too large and it's gonna look like this. We're going to sum from j equals one to n, where n is the total number of parameters. So n equals number of 
parameters. And M equals number oops, of data points. It's hard for me to look at the camera and write on the chalkboard at the same time. Um, and so we are going to just square each of these parameters and then we call it good. Okay, cool. So what is this term doing? Well, it's shrinking the parameters because let's say this gets to be close to zero, um, but one of our parameters is huge and this term is a thousand or something like that or a hundred, um, then the goal is to minimize our cost function, right? So in our algorithm, the goal is min j of theta. Ooh, okay. Um, and so if this is our goal and we have a cost function uh, that equals 100, we are going to keep iterating on this one until we get to a smaller value. Um, so one of the things is that, uh, well, actually two things to note. So we're starting at j equals one, but if you remember when I wrote my hypothesis function, h theta of x, we start with theta naught. Um, so we are ignoring this, um, and we're only focusing on higher order parameters. And then uh, uh, the other thing to note is that, hey, we have a constant here. So we're gonna use a color. This is called the regularization parameter. Ooh, I said that, okay. So this parameter is something that we can tune to get the best fit to our data. Um, we wanna avoid making this too large because if this is really big, when these are small, we're still gonna have a very high penalty. And so what we'll end up with most likely is a straight line where basically all of these terms except for theta naught are zero. And so wah, flat line, boring, probably doesn't meet our data. Um, so we wanna keep this fairly small um, and see what happens. You can, you can tune that uh, to, to get different results. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our regularized cost function. Yay! And I actually said the word okay, I think. <laughs> oh, words are fun. So please let me know if you have any questions about regularization. Um, and if not, we are going to be moving on. We'll still do machine learning, but we'll have another topic next week. Yay! All right, thanks very much for watching, friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye!